in an experiment to find the internal resistance of a cell, we need to set up a circuit like this. We have a cell in series with a resistor and an ammeter. The voltmeter goes in parallel around the terminals of the cell. It gives us a reading of the terminal potential difference. We get a current reading from the ammeter. The resistor in the circuit is known as the load resistance. We give it a capital R. There's the ideal voltage from the cell, is called the EMF. And we want to find the internal resistance of the cell. We give it a small r. The equation for EMF is the current times the load resistance plus the internal resistance. We can rearrange this. You'll see in a moment why this form is more useful. And we can also rearrange this fraction here as EMF times 1 over current. In this experiment, we can vary the resistance by swapping the resistor out for different resistors. So the load resistance is the independent variable. We will measure the current. This means the current is our dependent variable. We can match this equation up with the linear equation y is mx plus c. What this means is that we need to plot the load resistance on the y-axis and 1 over current on the x-axis. You'll find that the graph gives you a straight line like this. The gradient is the EMF. And where it crosses the y-axis, we can extrapolate the internal resistance.